Alright, hello everybody, my name is Troy Harrison Christ, and I have another SLI fix for you guys today. Um, today we're doing Call of Duty World War II. It's that time of year again. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and uh, we are probably today, I don't know when you're watching this, we all want to hide in our rooms, hide from our family, play some Call of Duty. The only problem is Call of Duty World War II does not feature SLI. If you guys don't know what SLI is, you're probably, this isn't a video for you. It's for how to fix two graphic card supports for Call of Duty World War II. It's not a perfect fix, but it works. I was getting 90, 97% over my two MSI um, 1070s, um, which are just chilling right now. Uh, I'm not really using it too much. So I will show you kind of the guide. I searched it on YouTube just because nobody had it. So if you search Call of Duty, COD WW2 SLI fix, this is kind of what we're following here. Um, this forum on the Steam community. Uh, yeah, you go there. Where did my camera go? Well, that's fun. Cam desk, uh, come back. Oh, still there. All right. Um, so basically, here are all of the profiles that we have to use. Ambient occlusion, we have to change. SLI compatibility bits, we got to change. Number of GPUs to use, we got to change to two or three. This will work for three. Um, and predefined SLI mode, we got to use AFR, not AFR2. And then this random thing, OX7, OF8, I'll show you where that is. We have to change it to the Witcher settings. Um, and important tips that he put in this, um, I will try and credit the person who posted this. Das Regal came up with this. Thank you, Das Regal, very much. You probably should have made a YouTube video. <laughs> all right, um, temporal AA will lead to flickering. All, all AA will lead to flickering. Um, I had SMAA 2X on, and um, it completely breaks it. You have to turn off AA entirely. When you turn it on and you have AA on, it'll look like the game is broken. You will want to restart your computer. Do not do that. Turn off AA and you'll be like, oh, it works. You just can't use AA. But you'll be able to play it in high high resolutions. So let me show you everything, where it is, what you have to change. We are using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. People, my most commented thing on this video is where do I get that version of NVIDIA Profile Inspector? God damn it. Search NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You don't even have to search where it's from. NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I always get this. Click the Guru 3D link. Click that. I don't want to, I'm not answering that in the comments anymore. Click the Guru 3D link. It's annoying. All right. Um, so, first off, uh, ambient occlusion compatibility. We're going to change to, oh, whatever, four right here. So search for the Call of Duty World, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. And then uh, DX10, we're taking Diablo 3s. Okay, so that will be um, OXO 820F5. Um, besides that, we got to go down to um, NVIDIA predefined number of GPUs. We're going to go ahead and hit GPU count uh, DX102 unless you're using three graphics cards. Then force AFR. We don't have to touch anything else there. Um, we're going down to the Randy. So this is an unknown. Uh, that'll be this one. This profile right here, it says 26 profiles, OX70F8E408. We're switching that to the Witcher 3s, which you can copy and paste from this thing. I will also just put all of these in the description. Besides that, apply, spam, change, apply, 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 apply. Um, so, like, I was, before this change, I was getting, like, 45 frames per second at 4K Ultra. Um, after this, I'm getting, like, 75 frames 4K Ultra in... Um, in Call of Duty World War II. I'll pull up gameplay here in a second so you guys can see. Um, besides that, um, yeah, bam, bam, do that, do that, do that, do that, and then do that. Those are all the things. Pause them, switch them to those settings uh, if you need to. That should be everything. Let me show you the game. I'm just going to close that for now. Uh, put me way down here super small troy there we go um if you're watching on a phone you probably can't even see me um so i tested this in multiplayer before let's go ahead and see uh what it looks like in zombies because that's where i was having problems i was getting like 50 48 frames in nazi zombies and i was like come on man come on i'm sure my camera just disappeared oh well Camera's gone. Very nice, Activision. Okay, zombies. Does it have to launch something else? God, can you not put everything in the same client? Like, 
You would think Call of Duty World War II would have zombies in it. No, I gotta open Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. Alright, sorry about that. Yes, read my drive. Very nice. Oh, what? Crash? Nope, just kidding. Okay, and on settings, everybody, make sure graphics. I hate how they hide everything that isn't advanced. Uh, Post-process anti-aliasing. Turn it all off. All of it until we find a better fix. Just turn it off. You'll thank me. It'll look just in insanely bad if you if you don't. What is loco play? Did I click the right thing? Come on, Call of Duty. Oh, I probably should have made my rivet tuner bigger. And do not worry about the menus. I need to make my rivet tuner bigger. Sorry. Task manager. This is important. You guys need to be able to see the GPU usage. I messed that up. Probably should have had that bigger to begin with. Okay, I'm just going to make it unnecessarily big. Please just do scale to it in COD right now. Yay! Okay, super big. Um, Create match. Battle Reich. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah. I will be offense. Wait, I like the British dude. His voice is funny. Wait, no, his name's Drosten. Okay. Here we go. As you can see right now, it's chilling at around 80%. As soon as it gives me something to really render, uh, it'll kick it up. Um, you also have to make sure you have your uh, V-Sync off to see if it's going to be using it at the entire usage. But when I'm actually playing, I will put on V-Sync. Because Call of Duty looks um, it looks skippy um, above your refresh rate. It's just something that I've noticed. Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you guys some quick gameplay real quick. Don't don't, don't mind the loading screen usage. Um, it doesn't matter. The, the, loading, the loading screens are always just weird. All right, here we go. We're in. Oh, flickering. Oh, and it's done. There will be some Why flickering bugs, maybe. Stays that way. 90. We're at 70 frames. Chilling. All right, cool. Everything's good. SLI's working. Around 90% usage. Plus 60. Around 70 frames. Awesome. His melee is so slow. That's the only problem. Whoa, okay. Let me uh, wake up here. Yeah, everything's fine. It's using, using my cards. It's not overheating or nothing. Looks fine. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Leave a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I have a ton of SLI fixes. And I'll probably be doing some Call of Duty World War II 4K gameplay here uh, in a minute. So yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. I'm out of here.